Hey guys, welcome back to another Queen Form video. In today's video, we're talking about Boost Mobile and is Boost Mobile getting postpaid plans? This is pretty, pretty big. Like I said, uh, this is brought to you by um, bestnvnl.com. Check them out, guys. All credit goes to them. But like I said, I always like to give my two uh, my two cents in this and what I think about this since I've been, you know, dealing with Boost Mobile for many years now and what I think about it. So, like I said, Boost Mobile postpaid plans coming soon, question mark. So, all right. Let's find out. So, it says, sources have told Wave 7 Research, that's another nice uh, website to check out, check out Wave 7 Research. This is that Boost Mobile is readying the launch of postpaid wireless plans, guys. So, if you guys know since Boost Mobile was created and, you know, back when Boost Mobile and Virgin Mobile were, we're out there, Boost Mobile has always been a prepaid carrier. That's what they're known for. And in time you're talking about, you know, the top three prepaid carriers, you know, at least between kind of the big ones. Of course, there's like other people like, you know, Straight Talk or should I say the four? Like I say, you know, like Straight Talk's pretty big too. But uh, the main three that we always focus is Boost Mobile, Metro, by t Mobile, and Cricket Wireless. They always are the top three in my mind. And, uh, Basically, they've always been prepaid and never been postpaid. Postpaid, you're always looking at AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, and T-Mobile, and US Cellular. Um, those are postpaid. Of course, they offer prepaid plans, but Boost Mobile, Metro, and Cricket are solely uh, prepaid carriers. So that's pretty big news, guys. Um, this says the time frame to launch is unknown. So they still don't even know when this will launch. It could be in a year. It could be tomorrow. Who knows? They don't know. Um, like I said, it could be a couple of years from now. It says, however, a trademark, a trademark for Boost Mobile Infinite uh, has been filed on April 13th. Um, so it's pretty, pretty big, guys. That means that they already have uh, claims to that name. So there's possibly a big chance that this is what's going to be called. Um, what do you What do you think about that? You know, it's going to be called Boost Mobile Infinite, um, and it's really Sorry about that. So, like I was saying, what do you guys think about that? Boost Mobile Infinite. I mean, sounds pretty cool. Um, you know, Boost Mobile Infinite. I mean, I think I like the name. Sounds pretty catchy. Um, so, like I said, this was filed back in April 13th. So, like I said, they, they want, uh, the you know, the rights to this name. So, that's most likely what it could be called. That's a big chance. This was done, of course, about a month ago. Um, at least from the making of this video in 2021. It says Boost Mobile Infinite will be a future... Uh, postpaid offering infinite may suggest the return of truly unlimited data plans to boost mobile so as you guys know guys boost mobile has basically since i've been around <laughs> uh, with boost mobile um, they did have unlimited data plans and these were truly unlimited plans that's what boost mobile what a lot of people got attracted to boost mobile one the prices were cheap and two, you used to get that shrinkage plan back in the day. You started, I believe, at sixty or sixty-five dollars a month for unlimited. And then every six months or so that you pay your bill on time, uh, consecutive payments without missing a payment, you get a five-dollar discount, and then you could get it down to like thirty-five dollars a month or something like that, which was really good back in the day when you know prepaid was really expensive. Like when I started, I mean, I had a flip phone, guys, and I would have to pay for minutes and texts. Boost Mobile, that's the whole reason I got into Boost Mobile. My mom got me Boost Mobile because of the unlimited texting and calling. Um, and then, of course, the data wasn't that much big of a deal back then like it is now, guys. Like I said, um, <laughs> this was probably, I don't know, 10, 10 years ago, probably, if that. So, like I said, this just kind of give the question of or kind of give you the thought of, that's why Boost Mobile got rid of the unlimited data. Remember, Boost Mobile got rid of the unlimited data. Now they only give you 35 gigs of a data on their unlimited plan. It's not a true unlimited plan like it was used like it used to be, um, where you could use 100 gigs if you wanted to, and who cares? Now, like I said, Boost Mobile prepaid. They don't have a true unlimited plan anymore. Like I said, 35 gigs, which a lot of people will argue is a lot of data, which I think is a lot of data. I mean, I'm never going to use more than 35 gigs on a mobile uh, mobile data at least on my phone guys i have wi-fi my job has wi-fi now i can see you know if you don't have wi-fi in your area that that sucks and i know a lot of people that are pretty mad once boost mode got rid of that unlimited plan guys um so like i said 35 it's not enough for a lot of people that don't have mobile internet 
or I mean, don't have Wi-Fi at home and only use mobile internet. So, I mean, people can burn through, you know, 200 gigs I've seen in a month just on mobile data, just watching a bunch of YouTube, or if it's your only source of internet. So that kind of sucked. Um, so it says, Boost Mobile's uh, truly unlimited data plans were eliminated last year when Dish took over. Uh, the brand as we sold to the Sprint slash T-Mobile merger. That was a big thing that a lot of people hated it. So a dish for like I said, I think that was pretty dumb. Boost Mobile, and I remember making the video saying that it was a bad idea that uh, Dish Network decided to do this. But now it begs the question: Was this is a whole reason that they were doing this because maybe they're going to offer prepaid? But still, it sucks because like I said, Boost Mobile from their roots has always had a sort of unlimited plan and cater to the prepaid customers. It's almost like saying, you know, we don't care too much about prepaid customers. If you want unlimited data, you're going to have to go on a postpaid plan, maybe get a contract or a, a retail installment on some phones or something like that, which is just kind of dumb. Um, it might be good for some people, it might not. So I don't know. Uh, like I said, uh, once the whole merger went through, Dish Network uh, took that off. So it says Dish Network is on track to launch its own 5G in Q3 of 2021. So Dish Network is making its own, uh, basically, a 5G network, which is good. You know, right now they're using T-Mobile's network. T-Mobile, I believe, gave them three years to use their network. Um, after that, they would have to go on their own. Um, and I mean, Dish Network, you know, they, they do TV, so maybe they'll bundle some kind of, uh, TV thing, which they actually kind of do with, uh, Sling TV, but, you know, hopefully their 5G network is pretty good. It says, perhaps Boost Mobile Infinite will be launching, launched, will be launched then to coincide with the 5G network. So it's basically saying maybe these postpaid plans are scheduled to come out the same time that uh, Dish Network has the 5G network ready for a lot of people to use. Let's so say right now they're on T-Mobile's network, and like I said, a lot of people have been jumping ship um, since Boost Mobile went to T-Mobile just because T-Mobile's network is not the best in some areas compared to like how Sprint was. So what do I think, guys? Um, I think it's a possibility, you know, especially now that Dish Network has uh, came into play. Maybe they're trying to do like a, a AT&T kind of thing where they'll... You know, if you get Dish Network or something like that, or if you have Boost Mobile, you'll get Dish Network cheaper. Or if you have Dish Network, you can get Boost Mobile postpaid plans even cheaper like Spectrum does. Uh, so if you don't know, if you have uh, Spectrum Internet, you can get Spectrum uh, Mobile and you get a discount. So maybe they'll try to combine something like that to give a better bundle deal for you guys. And like I said, hopefully they do a pretty good job with the 5G network and launch it up pretty big scale kind of like t-mobile did or did so who knows guys uh let me know in the comments below are you against this or are you for a boost mobile doing a postpaid plan and do you like the name i think i like the name boost mobile infinite uh it's pretty cool uh, like i said infinite does mean you know infinite so that could be possibility on a postpaid plan or maybe they have a separate prepaid plan called i don't know boost mobile infinite prepaid i don't know uh, more details to come your way guys. So this is pretty exciting news So I wanted to kind of take a couple minutes of today of your time and share it with you Let me know in the comments below and uh, yeah, let me know. Thank you